Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer, and welcome back to another video of how to basically solo queue in Battlefield 5. So these are f videos for the people that, you know, they, they don't really want to lone wolf and be in their own squad or leave their own squad alone, but they, you know, they kind of want to win, help their squad out, but they don't want to do comms or anything like that. They don't want to deal with toxic teammates. And today's map on the agenda is Hamada. So Hamada, I have two solo queue strategies. Now, first of all, realize that Hamada for solo queuing sucks. It's a huge map and you know, if you got a if you got even probably one coordinated squad against, you know, a good decent amount of solo queue teammates, it's it's not going to end well. So just know that this map is very 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 hard to solo queue on. So, I have two classes I like to solo queue on. First is the sniper. Now, what I do as a sniper on Hamada is I pick off the other snipers that are sniping at my teammates, basically. I kind of use the sniper more as a support that way. I kind of protect my teammates rather than kill enemies at the objectives because, really, I mean, the objectives, most of the objectives, it's hard to snipe people on from different angles. Like, especially those objectives that are, like, uh, across the bridge towards the top of the hill and basically, like, every objective. I mean, there's the other objectives that are just dugouts. So you have to like, so you have to sprint really far around to get good shots. So I kind of pick off other snipers. I spot tanks. That's very important on this map. Spot the tanks for the assault class. And I use spawn beacons for pushing. So I kind of make sure that when I'm the sniper class, if the objectives are moving, I'm going to move up with them and put my spawn beacon down so that my teammates who are probably dying at objectives because that's just the way the battlefield works I'm gonna be putting spawn beacons down so that they can get back into the fight quicker you know cuz I mean it is Hamada I will say that I use a medic on Hamada when I'm normally playing and not trying to win as a solo queuer but it's very 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 hard to play as a medic and the average person probably isn't gonna do it so the next best thing is the sniper class and you're putting spawn beacons down and making it so your teammates can spawn. Um, so now, when you're in an assault class, this is the other class that I like. I like to do an assault class with a semi-auto long range rifle. And as assault class, if you've watched any of these videos, you know what I'm going to say next. Your priority is not objective, but it's tanks. Blow up tanks. If your teammates can hold, like let's say you're on the side that doesn't spawn on the top of the hill and you can blow up the bridge, do it. If you need that bridge, don't blow it up. Then keep the tanks from blowing up that bridge, you know? Um, definitely, definitely carry a scope. Long range scoped rifle. You're gonna need it. Because the ranges on Hamada are longer because, um, especially with the plateaus, actually staying in cover and going from cover to cover, the cover is more spread out. Maybe not in the objectives and around them, but from going from objective to objective, the cover is spread out a bit more. And unless you have a medic, with a really good sense of where to put smoke grenades, you're going to need that longer range. And of course, you know, the uh, the gear that it comes with. So, then when you're using Assault, um, if, if the tanks aren't a problem, you want to control that bridge. Okay, now as a sniper, you can't do much to kind of pick and choose which objectives you want to capture. You know, you got to help out your teammates because you're not there, you're not pushing objectives because you're the sniper. you got to help them out that way. But if you're Assault, make sure that bridge is under your control. That bridge determines who wins the game. I'm just going to say this right now, one more time. On Hamada, whoever controls the bridge wins the game. Because you have the bridge, or you have the big flank around down the valley, which is like the Valley of Death. And if you do capture C, there's probably only one or two people, but that that bridge, man. Or see, see, what am I talking about? The objective that's down past the valley of death. But that bridge is extremely important. You gotta capture that fort right on the bridge and you have to hold on to it with your dear life and make sure no tanks blow up the bridge. That's really what I do as assault, is I make sure if I'm Germany, those three capture points are captured and the bridge spawn. If I'm England, I make sure Germany stays in their three capture points. Maybe even push another one, we'll see. 
But that's really it on how to solo queue, or at least my strategies on solo queuing on Hamada. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, you can tell me in the comments below. Subscribe if you're new for more videos on Battlefield 5. I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer. I suck just as bad as you do at video games, and I'll see you in the next episode stream vlog or Steam it post of whatever I said to make.